What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial on how to make a bleeding effect. So really, really short and simple. How you do a bleeding effect is basically the same way you do a poison effect. You're just going to add a negative HP regeneration state. So let's change our maximum and let's add a new state. We're going to call it bleeding. So we'll give it an icon real quick. Uh, we'll make it look like a piece of a heart. I kind of like this one right here. We'll go with that one. Um, doesn't need any restrictions or anything. Priority 50 will work fine. We'll say removed at the end of the battle. Auto removal timing. We'll do. We'll make it last four to five turns. And uh, we're going to basically go into the traits. Go to edit. Go to uh, parameters. Extra parameters. And then go HP regeneration rate. And we're going to go negative whatever you want. Five percent. So this negative 5% is going to make it so that every turn you're, you're losing 5% of your maximum HP. So that's basically it. A little too heavy there. So um, then you would make a skill. And we're going to call this skill, give it the same icon, we're going to call it uh, Bleed Strike. Uh, we're going to make it add that state, so we'll go to state, add state, go down to the bottom where we've added the bleeding state, whatever percentage chance you want, 100%. Uh, we'll make it do HP damage, and we'll go A.ATK times 4, we'll say. And since I'm using uh, Yanfly's armor scaling with the damage core, uh, we don't need to do any subtraction. If you're not using Yanfly's armor scaling or damage core, you might want to go B.DEF or b.def times 2. But I like using the armor scaling. Where we have no negative there. Um, we'll say yeah, can critical. Element type, we'll just make it a physical element. Um, this is probably going to be like a skill or a special. So we'll make it cost, I don't know, 15 TP, whatever you want. It's going to be battle screen only. One enemy. We'll make it a physical attack. And we'll give it some sort of slice animation. So since this is going to be real quick, we'll make a new animation for it. So we'll go to animations. We're going to go straight up to uh, our slash physical. No, let's go slash. Uh, we'll go slash effect because we have two images here. So we'll copy this real quick. I'm just going to paste it right here. We're going to call this bleed strike. What we're going to do is keep the slash but change the photon to, let's say, water and then make it red. I like that, but we'll change this power up to some sort of maybe darkness or something. We'll go with that. The slash one, we're going to take the green and the blue out to make it red. Evasion, that's okay, but I want to do some sort of like water. That's, that sounds fine. Nice. So we'll go to our skill, go to animation, apply that new animation, bleed strike. Um, attacks your enemy with a... Uh, we're going to just type it in so they know the element. I-77. Physical strike that causes slash IT and then bleeding is state number 31 so we'll put i slash four slash it uh, and then the number of the state and when we look at it in game it'll show the physical icon in my case it's like a hand or a glove and then it's going to show the state for uh, bleeding with the icon right there and that's it so then you can award this skill to um, whatever class or even to an actor if you want to and then see it in game. So that'll be it for making a bleeding state. All you're basically doing is creating a negative regeneration. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you like this video. If you would like more like it. And we will see you in the next tutorial.